Alrighty, welcome back. This is Aussie Gamer 17, and this is my real walkthrough for Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Right now, we have just uh, started mission number 14, hunting down the final clues. And that's exactly what we're going to complete uh, in this video. Now, we'll get to the very end of mission 14, and the final objective of mission 14 is going to be to return here to Chicane. Um, which will automatically start mission 15. So we just won't finish that final objective because we're going to do a few um, side missions after we do this before they uh, become unavailable again. Um, but having arrived back here in Prague now, you're going to notice something very different and we'll uh, see a little bit about that in just a second when we exit Chicane. So let's do that first. Just make your way through to the end. We should have picked up most of the loot in here already and make your way to this door let's do it Here we are getting to the limb clinic to meet Alex. And as you can see, it's very different in the city. The cops are gonna shoot first, ask questions later. Fuck, I'm glad you're okay, Adam. I brought you a present from the Alps. Compliments on Victor Marchenko. Be careful with it. Is this the orchid? Yeah. Marchenko tried to kill me with it, just like he did Rucker. Think you can get it analyzed? Yeah, we got a couple of scientists on the collective's mailing list. Some of them are already culling through the files you and Janus pulled from the bank. I'll let you know what they find. Oh, and we also ran a trace on that email you gave me from Rucker. It originated from an unregistered pocket secretary in Hong Kong. So we don't know who sent it? Not yet. It's been shut off ever since. But we left a trace running, so if it lights up again, we'll know. Good. Something big is coming, Alex. Ark's being framed for a terrorist attack that hasn't occurred yet. They're gonna take more lives, blow up another train station? Jesus, Adam, look at it out there. Any chance we had of easing fears and fighting people's hatred will be gone. That piece of shit UN legislation will pass and we'll all be thrown into Og-only hellholes like Udalek. On Nathaniel Brown sits back and earns trillions. Brown? That slick suit from the Santo Corporation? Page said Brown was calling the shots. And in Switzerland, Marchenko said Brown had confirmed date and time. But where? Brown's been traveling extensively, promoting Rabia and his Safe Harbor initiative. His next junket's in London. But if he's behind this, he's not gonna attack himself. Maybe not. Marchenko also mentioned someone who can tell us. But I have to meet with Miller first. How soon can you get the sample analyzed? As fast as possible. If you're meeting with Miller... Be careful. You walked into another ambush in Garm, and Miller's not off my suspect list yet. We'll see. Okay, now, it, we're gonna sneak out here. Everything is restricted now. Oh, we nearly got spotted already. Now, where is that guy? All right, we're gonna climb up here. We're gonna go, we're gonna cloak and we're gonna get up here. Um, so my timing's a little bit off because I normally uh, don't have to wait and explain things when I've been practicing, but we're just gonna head across here. This is why we saved up so many bio cells. We are gonna use cloaking a lot in this section of the game. Um, probably for the rest of the game, to be honest. Now, what we wanna do is Sneak around here as much as we can and keep an eye on your minimap and just use your cloak when you need to 
Um, if we can avoid using it and we need and we just have to stop and wait for a second, we'll do that as well. But um, a lot of the time, we'll just use our our cloak to get past these areas. Now, our objective is to go in there to TF29, but I actually want to go and sell a few things. So we're going to keep uh, sneaking down this way. Just cloak past this guard here. Can you hear me? You have to come quick. And we may or may not use cloak to get past the turret here. From the crime scene, do you no, we should we should be right without it. As long as it doesn't start heading back too early. No, we made it. Are you still there? Garrett. Alright. And we can make it into the apartments now. And that is just another side mission starting up, but we're gonna get to that after oops, uh, wrong button. Completing most of this mission as I explained earlier. All right, let's just sell a few things here and then we'll uh, continue on with the mission. You have credits? I'm not the one who needs the credits, buddy. You need them because you are gonna buy all my stuff. All right, battle rifle, goodbye. Shotgun. All right, now. Let's get rid of all this. Uh, I'm going to sell a few of these because we're at max capacity there. Get rid of five of those. One of those. Get rid of that. A couple of those. Don't really need any of them, to be honest, but... Alright, get rid of everything that uh, we don't need. You guys know the drill by now. And that's it. Okay. That'll do us. Out we go. Get Yori on it. Another happy customer. And out we go. And get into sneak mode again. And this time we'll head to TF29. Same as before, we'll just start uh, use cloak when we have to and top up with our uh, bio cells when we need to as well so we just need to get hang on hang on hang on oh nearly 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 all right i didn't do that very cleanly but they're just suspicious nothing to worry about normally you can just get to that um, get to this alley without them seeing you at all. Alright. And now we're in TF29 and we've got no problems at all. Adam, it's David. We need to talk in private. Nothing's more private than my info link. I'm not so sure. I've sent a secure vid call number to your smart home system. Get to your apartment and call me. And that is actually just a continuation of the uh, side mission number three that's pretty much been active almost the entire game. Delara, what are you doing here? Is that going to become our standard conversation starter? I'm serious, Delara. It's dangerous outside. Non-essential staff should be home. How did you even get- Ouch. Non-essential. I just meant- Work with me, Adam. I was trying for a little levity. Truth yeah, is, I don't like her that like much. News, hearing that the mobs were getting closer to the city, I was reminded of... Let's just say I thought being three stories below ground was better than staying in my apartment. So, I called in a favor and got state police to escort me in. Listen, I can tell something big is happening, so I don't want to keep you. Let's inquire. You doing okay, Delara? Look, Adam... I didn't tell you why I left Lim International. That I was in session with a patient when the incident hit, and that I was... You were attacked. Her name was Madeline. She was 13. Binky. A sweet kid. One minute we were talking, laughing actually, 
about something silly I'd said, and the next she was... She... It was a terrible day for everyone. After I fought her off, she... She just stared at me like she was totally aware, you know, but not in control. God, Adam, I could see in her eyes that some part of her was still in there, locked away. And she was terrified. Delara, I'm sure the girl... Madeline. Her name was Madeline. You know the part that I'll never forget, though? The thing that keeps just replaying in my mind over and over? Right before she jumped out of my office window, I could swear she was crying. Ooh. All right, let's just sympathize, even though I'm not Sorry. a fan of her at the moment. I didn't mean to sound insensitive. But you made it through that, Delara. And I think you're stronger for it. Thanks, Adam. Sit down, Lincoln. I just... You just think you're over something, you know? And then... My dog wants a bit I of understand. attention, I think. But regardless of the reason, you took a risk coming back here. These are dangerous times for everyone. You don't need to worry about me, Adam. Good boy. I'll be fine. I'll just hunker down in my office until the storm passes. Besides... I hear I have a very comfortable couch. Just take care of yourself. I always do. Now don't forget guys, I've also started a Twitch channel. Uh, I could use all the support I can get over there, so please head over there and give me a follow there. Uh, I'm aiming to get to 50 followers so that I can become a Twitch affiliate. So yeah, any support you can give me over there would be great. Um, and also running a... Uh, I guess you'd call it a 100% run for Rage 2. We're going for all the achievements on there. I'm running, I've been uh, broadcasting that over on Twitch and also um, turning that into a series on this YouTube channel as well. Now, our objective is to go and see Miller, so let's chat to him. We'll interrupt his phone call. You made it. Of course I did. More like convenient, given everything that's happened in this investigation so far. What does that mean? They knew I was coming. Marchenko and the gold mask from Dubai. Somebody tipped them off. Are you accusing me? Yeah, I am. You waffled a long time before agreeing to let me go. Because you pulled the location out of your ass, you refused to tell me how you got it. Your one solid lead to the bomb maker got away, and Rucker ended up dead when I sent you to arrest him. You've been nothing but an insubordinate cock-up since Manderley put you into this unit. Ooh. Manderley? It was his signature on the transfer papers. I checked. <sighs> I can't believe we're arguing over this. Not when we need to focus. Chicane debriefed me while you were flying back. Leon sent in a strike team. Got there about an hour after you two slipped out. And the mercs were gone. Did a pretty good job of trashing the place before bugging out and left a few booby traps behind. So we have no idea where they went or what they're planning next. Not necessarily. I heard Marchenko talking to his men. He said something about finalizing a deal with the Diwali. We need to move on this now. I'll get a search warrant for that old Diwali owned theater on Zardibi Adlam Street. Hmm. You really think we have time for a search warrant? No. But with the city under lockdown, I can't guarantee you'll make it over to the red light district alive. I got here, didn't I? Nobody's killed me yet. All right, fine. I won't stop you. Just be careful out there, Jensen. Let me know what you find. Probably that. All right, so we got a code. I can't remember what that code is for, You do actually. understand we are trying to stop terrorists here. I, I think the reason I don't know is because I don't use it. Um, it might be to one of the Diwali entrances, but we are not going to worry about that. Alright. And let's just check our objective, actually. It is to find a way into the Diwali territory. And we're going to go pretty much the same way we went last time, except this time we need to make our way inside the theatre in the Diwali territory. Before we leave TF29, let's talk to Arya. Hey, Arya. Hey, Adam. <laughs> They're trying to got her. But I was able to bypass most of the state police. Good for you. The last thing we need is more bloodshed. There's been enough already. 
If I had your stealth training, I might head home, but I think I'm safer in here. Plus, my test results are in and they're putting me back in the field, finally. I don't want to run in with state police messing that up. Whose unit are you assigned to for your next mission? Macready's. Really? I thought... He actually recommended me. Told me I shoot better than anyone on his team. That's great. Talk to you later, Aria. Bye, Adam. There we go. See you out there. Just want to add that little bit of uh, different dialogue there for those that are interested in, you know, story parts of the game and stuff like that. And out we go. Now our goal is to get to the Red Queen without getting spotted. Make sure you've got a, fuel, a full uh, biocell meter. I always forget the name of that actual uh, gauge down there, but um, we'll just call it that for now. Alright, we're going to go out this way, out the window. Alright. Pretty much the same way we're going to do things, uh, or that we have been doing things. Just make our way down this way towards the Red Queen and we'll cloak if and when we need to. Stick to the left over here. Uh, and it's quite simple to get through to this bit. And then through here, no one's going to see you come through this little tunnel. Now we want to make our way over here, but this guy here we may have trouble with. I want to make it into that little alleyway on our right. He's always... I always seem to get spotted by this one. Oh, it's past the limb clinic I need to get. Alright, we're just going to cloak down into that section where the limb clinic is. Alright. There we go. Probably could have waited. And be careful if they turn around, we're screwed. Here we go. Up here. Easy. Alright. And we're nearly there. What you want to do is grab some cover at this big you truck. Be outside tonight, Adam. Prague is no longer safe. Yeah, I'm aware of that. I'm looking at a police barricade right now. They will not let you pass. But I can help with that. I suggest you take cover. Eliza, what do you have in mind? Now is your All right, and now we go. I like to cloak past here either way because they're so erratic. Sometimes they can turn around and see you and stuff like that. So make your way inside and then uncloak. State police aren't even taking my. All right. You want I'm afraid you're on your own. This. And we're going all the way to the roof. But I got it. Don't worry. Miller, the Duvali own most of the apartments surrounding the old theater. Isn't that right? I haven't had any clients. And they're very possessive. So if you're thinking of getting in that way, uh, it's gone a little further than just thinking. Then expect it to zip straight past peaceful negotiation the minute they see you. All right, I was just waiting for that dialogue to finish, but here we go. The same way that we made our way to Diwali territory last time, up onto this roof and through here. Now, last time we went over there and dropped down there to make it to the apartment building over there. We're not going that way. This time we're going this way. And just be careful of that guy over there, that sniper. Jump down this way. And just stick to this wall on the left and he won't see you. Even though you can see his cone of uh, vision looks like he can see us. He won't. So don't worry about that. And we can just sneak up on him and take him out. I'll try and grab his gun before it drops, but I missed it, I think. All right. I'm just going to drag him out of the way over here. So he doesn't fall or anything like that. Grab that sniper rifle and this weapons briefcase here. And what we want to do over this way, actually, oh, sort of just the wrong timing. Um, if we can get him, nah, he's just going to move off. So we want to do a takedown on this guy over here. 
We're going to wait for him to come all the way around, back over in that direction. Um, and when he spins around, he'll be able to see us where we are now. And we're going to wait for him to, to get suspicious, and then we're going to duck behind here. So that's the plan. And we just have to sit here and wait for him. Here we go, you can see us. Duck behind. And we'll come straight through this box normally. Ah, there we go. Take down. Okay, now there are a few different ways into the theater from the roof here. We uh, open one of those windows and jump in through there. It's a little bit risky. Definitely doable. I have done it that way. Um, next, The next possible way we could use is by... Oops, Jumping up above this camera, shouldn't be able to see you. And we can go in through this vent, and that's definitely definitely the way we're going to. If you jump down over there um, and make your way around to the left, you can punch a hole through a wall um, to get in here as well. We're just going to go into the vent though for now. That hole in the wall is somewhere... Let me try and remember. It's somewhere down there anyway. Now, what do I need to do? Let me just double check my notes. Just want to make sure we get this right. Oh yeah, down one level, directly below us, there's another vent. So what I'm gonna do is fall onto this here, and then we can jump across to there. Let me just make sure that's the right one, yep. Yeah. Yep, just down exactly one level, punch our way through to this little vent, and in we go. And we're gonna go left. Both ways are to a bathroom. It's easier if you go to the left bathroom from this vent and we're gonna go out here just checking the mini map I think that camera should be okay if you sneak out here and just sit behind this box for a second and just wait for the camera just wait for this little gap here yeah there we go you said Marchenko needed to finalize it head all the way across here volley, yeah that camera is actually below us the one on the mini map now Maybe not. And we're just going to move these but boxes these out of the way. Smugglers in the world, which means a lot of forged paperwork. You might and head through here. Kingpin's office. Assuming I can find that. And we're going to do a takedown on this fella. Sometimes it's hard to get the right prompt here. Let's try it. Oh yeah, when he gets up, there we go. Oh <laughs> look how tough Jensen looks. I love it. All right. Pick up the shotgun, and now we're actually going to jump across this balcony, and in through here, and now we need to make our way downstairs, as far downstairs as we can go, so that's the bottom there, and we're going to make our way past this camera. Out this door and to our right, you can see the camera. Oh, I forgot. Oh, okay, yeah, this is one where we're just gonna use our cloak, guys. So, what we're gonna do is completely recharge our bio cell. Make sure we've got a full bio cell. Actually, I can just go behind it. And then sneak out here. So, no, I'm not going to. I couldn't remember how I normally pass that one. So, you can see it just getting a sight on us but it wasn't quite enough. All right, now we need to head around this way. And that guy should not be able to see us. And that camera is just above the door there. And I'm gonna jump over these boxes. And we're gonna to have to move this out of our way so that we can get past. Oops, that's okay. No, no one's around here to hear that. Oh, that camera is though. Oh, 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 I thought it had gone around enough. Oh, come on, game. Maybe I'll use the cover. Oh, boy, it's a very, very sensitive camera, isn't it? What about now, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Oh, 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 get in behind it. Oh, okay, we're going to have to use a cloak. Well, if that happens to you, just um, cloak. You could even just cloak all the way past it if you had to. All right, now we're going to go here to this door. And I'm actually just going to use a multi-tool on this door. It's a level four hack, so obviously if you have level four, 
uh, that's you can do that but if you've been following this walkthrough we have got plenty of multi tools and plenty of crafting parts if we needed to make more so definitely worth um, just spending the multi tool there we don't get another one here in this mission now sometimes that robot guy down the end there will be um, all the way up here and you'll have to wait for him and then sneak down here um, but obviously he was down the other end so we could make our way down here I think there's some hacking software there but we don't really need it don't worry about that guy but there is a guy over there that will spot us as we try and get over here so I'd like to just get a takedown on him um, but then the, yeah that guy's sitting down now what we might want to do actually is just sneak all the way past I think I have been playing around with doing takedowns on a few of these guys but I'm worried that um, maybe it's something that may cause us to lose the um, foxiest of hounds if they are if the other guys find the bodies so what I'm going to do is actually just cloak all the way past uh, this little area over to where we can see over there. So let's do that now. Otherwise one or two of those guys will see us if we're not cloaked. And we just approach this door for this cutscene. They will pay triple what they agreed. That is good for business. But at what cost? This is not a fucking discussion! We can still limit the damage. We do not know what these people have planned for London. It could be... I decide how the Valley do business, not you. But it's Orchid. You want to deliver to the Safe Harbor Convention before it even begins. Do you have shit in your ears as well as between them? Get the fuck out of my office! Now! All right, with that scene over, you need to quickly move over here. Convention in London. Jesus. And we'll just hide behind this box. How fast can we move on this? I'll warn London and get Mac working on a mobilization plan for them. You go home. We'll contact you there. Alex, All right. they are hitting London. The Devali agreed to smuggle weapons and the Orchid into Apex Center. Fuck, man. They want to take out Brown. He's their real target. I've been digging into him. Get to my apartment. Explain it to me there. Okay, and from here, we're going to sneak into this office here. You need a fucking you can see he's going to walk off there, and we just need to grab... E-book number... I can't remember. Check the uh, timestamps, but there we go. Grab that. And then, as soon as you can, head back out here. We're going to go back the way we came, but first of all, we're going to go up through this elevator shaft. And we're going to... Climb up here. Go into these lockers. Grab some crafting parts and a bio cell. I've actually managed to not use too many uh, in this little uh, bit so far. I'm going to smash our way through this wall. Through here. Alright. Now we're going to watch out for the robot through here. And we are definitely going to be using some cloaking just to get back um, through some lasers and things like that. So open up the door. And then what I like to do is start the cloak, keep an eye on your energy level. It's good that the robot's down the other end, and this is where we were earlier when we snuck past him. And then we can uncloak. That's the door where we used our uh, multi-tool on. And we're going to head back the way we came. Oh, I forgot to grab that on the way through. Grab that. Okay, we're going to... Oh. We're gonna have to cloak someone behind us, nearly saw us. Uncloak now. And we'll sneak our way back past this camera. Okay, once again, cloak. There we go. Uncloak, and we'll just top up our energy just in case. Just some clever uses of cloaking to get through there. And you could probably be more patient, but it's the whole reason I, um, made sure we had plenty of bio cells so that we could use it instead of having to you know be so patient now once again we need to get past a camera here what i'll do though is try and be a little bit it's going to see me for a second that's okay we're going to get right in behind there 
and we need to make our way to those stairs through there. And we're going to do that by sneaking behind the camera. Once again, the opposite of the way that we came in. And there we go. All the way up the stairs. Up here again. Uh, actually, was it up these stairs? Yeah, and then through here. So you could have gone up another level, I'll just show you. Could keep going up, but we're going to go the way we came. Oh, I didn't grab that. Or that. And over here. This will be where we took down the uh, fella. Where's his... Oh, there's his body. I was like, where's his body gone? There he is. And back through here. Another camera to sneak past over here. Just... Oop stuck in here and once again this one's a little bit tougher to get past One day. can definitely do it oh it's coming this way try and get in behind this box if it catches us there we go if we if it caught us we could have just cloaked but here we are back to the bathroom that we snuck in through and we're going to jump up to this vent if you can't make that jump you could use your uh, Icarus uh, dash move whatever it's called all right, and then from here, we need to get back up one level. So I used my Icarus dash move. Oop, I nearly had it then. To grab onto this. And just stand on this. And Icarus dash up to here as well. And back through the vent. And this will bring us out onto the roof above the camera. And we'll just wait for it to head to the left. And we can just drop down here. Oh, was this a buyer cell in here? Yeah, another buyer cell. Per perfect. All right, and here we are back at the roof. We're going to make our way back through to the Red Queen. So we need to go up here. And here we go, guys. We are now exiting Diwali territory. Now, you can choose one or two ways to handle this next bit. What we can do is get back down and go through the Red Queen, or we can just drop right off the, there um, and down the bottom and make our way to the, the uh, subway. What we're gonna do is drop all the way down, but we're gonna go silent and cloaked to, to make this uh, drop. So go silent, cloak, and drop down. The cloak actually ends, I forgot about that. So cloak up again and get behind this truck. And then we can uncloak, unsilence, and we're free to go. Oops, okay. And so now we're making our way to the subway. Keep an eye on the minimap. And we may or may not use some cloaking once again. It's usually okay to sort of sneak. Yeah, we can sneak down here. Yep, perfect timing. There we go. Now he can't see us because we're going down the stairs. Now we're gonna cloak just to get past this laser because I'm not confident with the timing. Plus there's a turret up ahead. And once I'm behind the turret, then I'll uncloak. And I'm gonna move this pesky turret. Guard this wall for me, turret. There we go. And we can head down here and travel to back to our apartment down in the south. Let's do it. Alrighty, now I have just had a bit of a bug that's not allowing me to take this uh, train station to our next location and I've got a theory that it might be because we're using the, uh, you know, the uh, travel point that's for non-orgs. So I just want to try something out and head down to the orgs only travel point and see if it lets us through. Um, and it might be something to do with the fact that the cut scene at the end won't play, you know, the, the scene where the guard stops you because there's no one guarding it. It may be causing some issues in the game. So I'm just going to travel down here and see if that fixes it up. Let's do it. Alrighty, so that worked. So I'm not sure if that is completely the reason why or it doesn't even didn't even put us back at the non-orgs part very very strange but i tried a couple of times to travel from that far left one at the other train station and the game crashed on me every time um and it worked first time back at that other 
travel points. So whether or not that's something that will happen to you, I don't know, but that seems to be a fix. Let me know in the comments if uh, something like that happens to you and or you have a, uh, a fix for it. Let us know in the comments. Now up here, there's always this pesky guard. So I'm gonna cloak and take care of him. I cloak through this laser and I'm gonna cloak all the way up to a bit of cover just here and uncloak. We're gonna take care of this guy down there. As he turns his back on us like that, I'm gonna head down here and just do a takedown on him. Because we're gonna be using this path a couple of times and he can be quite annoying. So take care of him. And now we're gonna head up and we need to sneak to Jensen's apartment. I'm gonna stay on the right here. Let's just assess where everyone is. All right, I'm gonna use some cloaking to get past here. So let's cloak here. All right, uncloak. Probably didn't need that one, but we're definitely gonna need it as we pass this truck. Let's just get some more energy there. All right, let's, uh, let's cloak, make it a little bit easier. Get through here. We can just sneak straight past him and down here. And now we should be able to uncloak and make our way through to the apartment building. There we go, we can run now. All the way up to our apartment. Now there are is a side quest that we could start if we wanted to. Don't worry about visiting Tars. There's Detective Montag, but we don't want to see him right now. We're not doing that side quest yet. Not until we have uh, this part of the game done. So let's go in here. We got it wrong, Adam. Brown's financial prospects aren't as rosy as we thought. He stands to lose trillions if the Human Restoration Act passes. That doesn't make any sense. Millions of displaced dogs will flock to Rabia. And the city can't support them. Brown's been selling investors a pumped-up dream. The corporate city-state where like-minded individuals govern themselves while investors reap the profits. Kinda goes against the idea of a one-world government. Yeah, and if it fails, so does Brown, the Santo Group, and anyone else standing in the Illuminati's way. So they want to kill a competing dream and get rid of their augmented problem in one fell swoop. I take it Brown's been campaigning against the act? And unlike Rucker, he's got the money and influence to stop it. What about the orchid sample I gave you? Marchenko's smuggling more of it into London. Were you able to analyze it? Believe it or not, it's not a bioweapon. Or at least it's not meant to be one. It's a genome editing drug. It targets the gene linked to AUG rejection and deletes it. AUG rejection? Must be why I survived. I don't suffer from rejection syndrome. What? Are you telling me you don't need neuropazine? That's right. And that makes you... One in a billion, I know. The Orchid, Alex. You said it's not meant to be a bioweapon. Right. The files you and Jana's got from the vault, they suggest Reed's team hasn't finished making the Orchid yet. It's supposed to replace the deleted gene with an artificial one, one that accepts augmentations. But until they do, it's deadly. Darknet posted pictures of Rucker's corpse. If Brown and all his elegant, fancy potential investors get dosed and Ficus News broadcasts images of them, it's gonna send a message. I'd better warn Miller. You can stay here if you want, till the curfew is lifted. I can take care of myself. But when the task force hits London, keep me in the loop. Not sure what I can do, but... Good luck, Adam. And be safe. Miller, it's Jensen. Is McCready still working on that plan for London? Because there's another variable to consider. You can brief him yourself at TF-29's airfield. We're mobilizing. Copy that. How do I get there? Damn, curfew's still in effect. So if you can get to Chicane's place, he'll fly you to it. Miller out. Okay, so there we go. That is as far as we're going to go in mission number 14. Because as soon as we uh, get to Chicane's place, it's going to start... Uh, mission 15 which once again means we'll be leaving Prague and it's kind of the point of no return uh, so we need to get all of the side missions done here in Prague before we leave and we're gonna do one really really quickly right now and that is by contacting Sarif on our uh, little phone thing here using the remote control so let's quickly do that Ah. 
Adam, good. We need to talk, son. What's going on, Seraph? Why the secure vidcall number? I looked into facility 451. It was a processing clinic, one of dozens set up after the incident to help augmented people recover. It was supposed to be places to heal, but they were run more like prison camps. And? And I don't think you got your new augs there. You said rescue teams dumped you in that clinic shortly after Panchea collapsed, but your name doesn't appear on its entry logs. And it doesn't appear on any survivor recovery lists either. They said I was a John Doe. Nobody knew who I was. It wouldn't have been hard to find out. Your augmentations have serial numbers. Or at least the ones I had installed into Adam Jensen did. Alright, let's just ask about these. Are you suggesting all my odds are new? Even the ones you gave me? I'm not suggesting anything. I'm telling you all the OGs we ever installed had registry codes, and they're not hard to trace. I know my OGs, Seraph. It took two years for my body to get used to them, to unlock all their potential. Two years? Really, Adam? One of which you don't remember because you were allegedly in a coma in Alaska. Look, son, all I'm saying is it wouldn't have been hard to identify you, but for some reason, that never happened. And Olaf? Why are you so sure I didn't get these hogs in Alaska? Orloff was there. I spoke with him. You said he was using an alias, McFadden. I looked into it. Casper McFadden didn't exist until the day you regained consciousness, which was one month before you escaped the facility. Okay, so where was Orloff? Not in Alaska. He was with Ty Young Medical for a while, and in the spring of 2028, his name pops up once or twice in the Baltic region. Then he dropped off the grid, and McFadden shows up. So what does that prove? Orloff is McFadden, and McFadden is Orloff. None of it connects him to me. Except for the OGs which Orloff designed and nobody else knows how to install, let alone make compatible with a competing system. And next? What are you trying to tell me, Seraph? Yeah, hey, get to the point, buddy. I'm sorry, Adam. There's not much more I can say. There's some conclusions you have to make for yourself. All I know is, the deeper I dig, the more questions I have. Orlov might have had answers, but as soon as you found out he was in Prague, that he'd been visiting Prague periodically ever since you started working with TF-29's division there, somebody killed him. You tell me what it all means. I can't. Not yet. Well, if you ever do find out, give me a call. Until then, take care of yourself, Adam. Be careful. Thanks for the help, Seraph. Okay, and that is the end of the Mystery Orgs. We got a Coast and Smooth Operator Ponus. Would have been hard to not get that, considering it's simply a phone call. But there we go, guys. Now, the next side quest, or side mission, sorry, is the one that's just downstairs, where we go and speak to Detective Montag. Let's just have a quick look. It is The Last Harvest, and we're going to check up on Daria, and that's where Detective Montag was at her door. Uh, but that's going to be in the next video, guys, because that is it for this video. I want to thank you all very much for watching. I hope this is really helping, and I hope you're enjoying it. If you are, remember to give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, post a comment, all that good stuff. Also, remember to go and check out my Twitch channel and give me a follow there. That would really help out everything that I'm trying to do here um, not only for Twitch, but also for YouTube, because YouTube is still my priority. Making guides like this is my priority, making achievement guides and doing 100% runs and stuff like that. So if you enjoy that sort of content, please remember to like, subscribe, follow on Twitch, post a comment, all of that, and um, also check out my Patreon as well if you want to help me continue to do this. So there we go, guys. I will catch you all next time.